Hey Russell fam, in today's video, we are going to do, do a lesson with us, Saxon Math, level one. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. I'm a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down in the bottom. We talk about all things homeschool, family fun on this channel. And we also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. There I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned from my years of homeschooling. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. I know choosing a curriculum can be one of the hardest things that new homeschooling parents have to do. I know because I have been there and I have done that. So I have done these videos to give you information on those curriculums, a more in depth type look. Um, I will leave in the I card I have done a um, flip through of the videos and also this is going to be the do the lesson with us video and we are learning about Saxon math level one. Now I have um, been homeschooling since 2012 and I did not start using Saxon until second grade with Bailey. So we've done a second, third, fourth, fifth, and now we're in six, so this is our fifth year of Saxon math. And the reason I have to count it like that is because once you get into the higher grades, the numbers get a little confusing. So, but I did kindergarten with Becca last year and now we're doing first grade. So that will give me all of the Saxons up to where Bailey is now in sixth grade. So I wanted to share with you this do a lesson with us in Saxon. I love Saxon math. It is great. It is a spiral type curriculum. And what I mean by that is it comes back around. It's a spiral. They'll teach you a skill and then they'll move on to something else and then they'll sneak it back in there and bring it around. So if your child masters it, that's great. But if they master it and then forget it, that's also great with Saxon because they bring it back around to them. So they refresh it back in their memory. So let's get started on this do a lesson with us for Saxon Math Level 1. Okay, in today's video, we are doing do a lesson with us on Saxon Math Level 1. This is first grade with Becca. So we're gonna start with our meeting book and what we do on that is we open it up to the month that we are on. We are currently on October and we're gonna talk about our shapes. What are our shapes? Square, triangle, rectangle, hexagon, hexagon parallelogram, parallelogram, trapezoid. trapezoid. Okay, and so we are going to do a pattern of all of these shapes. So today's date is what? Monday? Monday, October 12th. 2020. 2020. Okay, so on our Monday, we're going to start with our circle and draw a pattern. So can you draw a circle on the 12th for me? Circle. There you go. All right, and what shape are we going to put on tomorrow's date? Square. Square. That's right. All right, and... All right, in the teacher's manual, it tells you to open the meeting book, which we just did was over here. I'm trying to get the camera so you can see both of them. All right, here's the book. And it says, what do we call this? What is this called? It's called, um, it's called, um, you know calendar? what? Yes, that's all right. It's called a calendar. And so it tells us the answer right here is a calendar. Why do we use a calendar? So we can tell what date it is. That's right. So it can to tell us the months, the days, and the years, and the days of the week. What year is it? 
The year is 2020. The year is 2020, right. What month is it? October. October, all right. And oops, in the book, our date is different. So it says, yesterday was what date? The 11th. Yesterday was the 11th, that right. That's right. Um, so what do you think today's date is? The 12th. The 12th, all right. So... We've already written that there, and we've done our pattern. So I'm a little ahead of this, but um, what day of the week is today? Monday. And how do we know that? Because, we, because of the calendar. Because of the calendar, that's right. All right. Um, all right, now let's read the names of the week. Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. All right. And what is the first month of our year when we say our months? January. That's right. And tell me what letter we spell that with. J. J. That's right. All right. And she already knows some of this. It'll ask you what is the first digit when you're writing the date and all of that. So we are going to jump down here to our weather graph. All right, what is it like outside this morning? What does it look like outside? Tell me. Sunny. It's sunny outside? Okay. All right, so so this is Trying to get it where y'all can see too. This is sunny, cloudy, rainy, and snowing. So you said today was sunny, so we are going to take a color. Mm -hmm. Today's actually cloudy. Yeah, it is kind of cloudy outside. All right, so each morning we wake up, we will look outside to see if it is sunny, cloudy, or rainy or snowy, and you can see I'm reading this, and we live in Mississippi, so we're very rarely going to have snowy. So we are going to make a graph to keep a track of each day. We're going to open our meeting book, which is right here that has this, and we pointed to the symbols and we talked about them, all right? So I'm taking it step by step and reading the book. Now we're going to draw either a sun, a cloud, a raindrop, or a snowflake above the symbol to show today's weather. All right, so you're going to pick a color. Whichever color you want. All right, and since it is cloudy, you are going to draw a cloud right there. There you go. Good job. All right, so now... That looks like a puzzle piece. It kind of does look like a puzzle, uh, puzzle piece. Puzzle piece. Now it says we're going to talk about counting. And it says point to the 100 number chart on the inside back cover of your meeting book. That is this right here. All right, let's use our hundreds number chart to help us count. Let's read the numbers together as we point to them. And, we're, and then it says, slowly move your finger from 1 to 30 as you count each together. So, 1, 2, 3, Good job. All right. So, now it tells us to turn to the pages 46 and 47 in our meeting book. So we go right here to 46 and 47 in our meeting book. And now you will add one more number to each number line. So today we're going to put a one right here. There you go. And then so tomorrow we'll add what number? Two. Two. 
until eventually we go all the way around. All right. So we're finished with our meeting book and now it tells us that we're going to move on to our lesson. So, and if we looked up here at our materials, it says that we need our linking cubes unsnapped at least 30, some crayons, and our workbook sheet 1-2. All right, so we have our math sheet, less than two, and we also have our master's 1-2 which is one through five right here. So we're gonna put that there. All right, so now, today, and it tells you what you're gonna say in bold, today we will use a mathematical called linking cubes. Those are what those are, right? Yes. These are our linking cubes. All right, you will learn how to use linking cubes to make a tower. When we build a tower, we will start at the bottom and build up. Okay, so right here it says, give your child a basket of at least 30. Well, we don't have a basket, we just put them on the table. Now let's build some towers. As I say, each number, take one cube and snap it on. All right, so, can you get some cubes for me? All right, we'll put them right here so we can see. All right, so that's what number? One, we're gonna build a tower. How do you build a tower? No, nope, we put them on top, not let's put them on the bottom. Remember, we have to follow our directions. All right, now put one on top. That's right, put it on top. One, that's two, three. All right, so let's count our cubes together. One, two, three, good job. And we started at the bottom and we went what way? All the way up. We went up. All right, now let's break them off. Can you break them off? One, two, three. There you go. Now, as I say each number, that would said make another tower, but she's got that. So now we're gonna move on. So we're gonna Make, a, make me a tower with five cubes. Oops. And put them on top. Oh, you're trying to do a pattern. What you're trying to do? No. Okay. All right. So how many do we have right here? Five. Five. We do have five right there. All right, so now, can you break them apart for me? Good job. So now we're going to move over here, and we're going to talk about our sheet right here, our master sheet, and it tells us to do our master 1-2. All right, can you see? What do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Numbers 1 through 5, that's right. All right. Now it says put it in front of you and let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. All right. Now, we've already done that. Now we're going to, uh, now we will make a tower to match each of these numbers. All right. How do you think we're going to do that on this sheet right here? We're going to have to do this, this, this. Here. Here. All right, you think we need to stack them though instead of putting them like that? All right, so make me a tower with one. All right, make me a tower with two. Nope, separate towers. Yeah. All right, make me a tower with three. All right, now make me a tower with four. All right, now make me a tower of five.
Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so we have our towers. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five. That looks like steps for dolls. It does look like steps, doesn't it? Good job. All right, so now can you unsnap them and put them all back over there in our... Five. Four. All right, now, now it tells us that we're going to save our number card, which is this. So I'm going to put that back in our notebook, and then we turn it over, and then it tells us that we are going to do our written practice. So we're always going to have a worksheet, which is our written practice, and we have lesson 2A and 2B. So 2A is just the front, B is just the back. Typically, if my child gets it on the first side, I don't worry about doing it on the back because it makes it boring for them. So... We are just going to are you writing your name on it? Okay. All right. So we will do row. All right. So now it tells us on A, 2A, that we're going to color the towers. We're going to start from the bottom. So now you're going to get your colors. And you're going to color me one, two, three, four, five. All right, while she's doing that, I'm going to show you. It says we will do side A now. All right, she wrote her name at the top of the paper. And here it says allow time for your child to do this. So we did. Now we're going to look at the first problem on side A, which we did. Becca, how many are you supposed to draw right there, baby? Okay, now let's move over here to two. Can you draw me two now? Okay, so you know you're not supposed to do that one. You're worried about doing patterns more than you're worried about how many you're supposed to do. All right, the directions say to color the towers. When you color the towers, you begin at the bottom. Well, I read the directions to her, and she forgot and started here, so then she had to move here. So, she was trying to color all five of them, but you have to match your numbers on that. All right, so allow your child to do this. So, I'm going to allow her time to finish coloring this, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, now she has finished doing her one through five towers, so we allowed her time to do that. Now, it says the second problem tells you to circle one of the tower numbers, and then draw that number of animals in the box. All right, so circle one, two, three, four, five. Which number you wanna circle? Five, all right. It says right here, it says circle one of your tower numbers, draw the same number of animals. What animal are you gonna draw? Hmm. You gotta tell me. I think I'm gonna try and draw a monkey. Monkey, all right. So she, it says right here, what kind of animal are you going to draw? She's going to draw a monkey. <clears throat> All right. So now we're going to draw that many animals in that box. And then over here, she, while she's drawing, it says turn your paper over to the other side and do B. Well, we're not doing B because she's got this. So we're going to let her draw her five monkeys. But I hope you have enjoyed this do a lesson with us for Saxon Math Level 1. I hope you have enjoyed this do a lesson video with us. If you have any questions about the curriculum, drop it down in the comments below. I will love to answer the questions for you. Um, I love the curriculum. I will also leave a link down in the description box if you want to buy the curriculum or if you want to look into it yourself. So I will leave that down there. But as always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.